In this video, I'm going to show you how you can also create this amazing looking masking transition in Adobe Premiere Pro, even if you are a beginner. So without any further ado, let's get right into it. My name is Vince and if you are new to the channel, on this channel I talk about video editing, content creation and also how to make money with these skill sets. So if you're interested in that, then uh, well, just keep watching this video and uh, yeah, let's get right into it. So. The first thing you want to have for this transition is you want to have a clip that's uh, ideally moving in some sort of a direction to give off a really smooth vibe um, for this transition. And you want to have an object in your clip that covers up the entire screen. So in my case, it's going to be this tree that you can see is filling up the entire screen. And then um, you want to have another clip as well, which it's ideal if it also moves in the same direction as the first one. You can see I do have a little bit of like uh, motion to the right side on the second clip as well. But you know, if you don't have them like exactly lining up, it's all right. You can still make it look pretty decent. So the next step after you have that, uh, and by the way, here's a quick tip. If you import your footage into Premiere Pro and you know, you just want to select that part that you are going to use. Uh, you can just press I on your keyboard where you want to select the endpoint and then go to where you want it to end, press O on your keyboard, and then you are going to just drag that part to your timeline that you want to use. Anyway, so once you have selected your two clips, the next step you want to do is you want to put your first clip on the second video track, okay? And then you want to scroll uh, all the way to the part where um, you have the first you know, signs of that part that you want to kind of mask out. And then uh, you want to align your second clip right under it. So just like that, you can see I aligned it up. So uh, it's it's already here. Once there is any signs of the of the second part of the clip uh, after the object that is blocking out the view is moving past. Right. And the next thing you want to do is you want to set here uh, from fit to like 50% uh, on your like viewing uh, or zoom level. And now you want to select the, the clip that's on top and then you want to come to effect controls. You want to select opacity and you want to click on the free draw Bezier uh, mask. Right. And then you want to basically mask around this part that's starting to show up that is going to uh, unveil the second clip. Now you can see it basically did now the opposite of what we want It's just showing the clip under and in the masked area is the clip that is on top. So if we want to, you know, fix this, then you just need to click on inverted right here uh, in the masking settings and then uh, you have that fixed. Okay. So next up, what we are going to do is we are going to press on the little hour uh, glass button and click toggle animation on mask path. So what we are, what this is going to do is this is going to allow us to create this animation so that our mask actually like moves together um, with the movement of the object. And then you want to be basically just clicking on this, uh, on this uh, step uh, forward one frame button and then you want to come back to your mask and just basically adjust it and drag it so that it actually uh, fills up the um, part that's under it. So this is quite a tedious process. You just click on it. You can add more points to your mask as well if needed. And you basically just, uh, you know, press this button, uh, adjust your mask a little bit, press it again, adjust your mask a little bit. Uh, and so, yeah, it is, it is quite a long uh, process. It might take some time, but you want to be really particular with this if you want your transition to come out smooth. So I'm not going to bore you guys with that. Let's skip uh, this part where I finished uh, doing the step-by-step -step masking. Also, if you need to adjust your mask at any points, uh, you know, you can add more points to it, like I said, or you can just move the whole thing. And for if for whatever reason you kind of click out of your mask and you cannot uh, adjust it, just select your top layer again and then click your mask and then you will be able to edit it again. All right, so we are basically done with it. Uh, make sure that your mask is covering your entire video. So <clears throat> now if we go ahead and kind of uh, play this back, you can see that our mask is kind of stuck here for a while. So what you want to do to fix that is uh, click on the mask again and just, you know, drag it out uh, from your screen. And this way, uh, even 
yeah and then go to the place where it should start and then make sure it's in the right spot there so yeah we can play it back and you can see it looks pretty good uh there are some spots here where it could look a bit better so you can always just come back to your mask uh click it and like adjust it a little bit or you can even play around with the mask um, feathering to make your uh, mask either more or less feathered and you can also play around with the mask uh, expansion and uh, yeah if you usually if you adjust these settings a little bit it's gonna look a whole lot better so yeah if I play it back now that's kind of how it looks uh, if you want to take this even a step further you can add what is called time remapping to this to make your transition look even uh, better and smoother and maybe even add some sound effects to it. So the way I like to do it personally is by selecting both clips, right clicking and then clicking on nest and I'm going to create a nested sequence which will basically like put these two clips into one and you can always go and make more adjustments by just double clicking on your nested sequence and then it will open it up so you can adjust uh, the clips manually there as well but uh, now with this nested sequence i'm going to uh, come here to where i would want my speed ramp transition to start i'm going to right click on my footage i'm going to come here to the bottom where it says show clip keyframes timer mapping speed i will click that and here i will pr press command on my keyboard or control if you're on windows Press on this white line that that just appeared on my screen and that added this uh, marker as you can see. Now I'm going to go to the part where I want it to kind of stop. Uh, so I want my uh, speed ramp to stop like here. I'm going to press command and click again uh, or again control if you're on Windows. And then this middle part between the two markers, I'm going to drag this, this line up. So you can see it, it sped up that part to like 240%. You can also drag out these uh, little markers like this to like uh, smoothen your speed ramp transition. And now if I play this back, you can see it, it, it kind of sped up that part. Um, so yeah, it did play a back a little bit laggy for some reason here. Um, but it should look pretty good once I export it. Um, so yeah, at this point, you can maybe even add some sound effects, like a whoosh sound effect to it, you know, some sound design, a color grade, stuff like that to make your footage look even better, or you could add a little bit of uh, motion blur. But overall, I think this transition looks pretty good. And you can get really creative with this. You can use all sort of objects that block your view or, you know, so many uh, clips, so many ways to be creative with this masking transition. So try it out for yourself, give it a shot, and I hope you are going to be able to use it in your next project. And if you want to learn from me more and master content creation and also get your videos reviewed by me personally, then go ahead and check out Magnetic Editing, which is my editing masterclass in the description below and I will see you guys in the next one.